talk all of the top deals that are running at CVS and Walgreens this week. I love drugstore deals, and while all the deals that I mention are not necessarily free, they are great prices. Um, this is really where you want to be grabbing personal care, household, your pharmacy items as well, but we're going to get crazy good prices compared to the grocery store always, and even beating like Target gift card deals, prices that we would see on Amazon. Uh, this is just where you want to be. So we're going to go through a number of deals. Some of them are free. We've got free Aleve at um, CVS. We have free toothpaste again at Walgreens this week. So lots of deals, um, just not necessarily free to emphasize that. Really, it's that we're focusing on great prices and then thinking about what kind of coupons do I have to pair in that make these deals even better because that's really what kind of wins when you're going around and you're trying to get the best price on drugstore deals. It's all about the coupons. So let's dive in and hello Kelly and Christine. Glad to have you join me today. Uh, so we're going to start with CBS. My favorite deal is the Aleve deal. Uh, so I would say maybe every three months, Aleve gives us $4 off coupons in the insert. And so this past Sunday was magical Aleve coupon day. And CVS, every time we get those high value coupons, CVS gives us an Aleve deal as well. So you just need to hands down, always plan on using those coupons at CVS. So I don't have the tag here. Um, my store didn't even have a tag on it, which I guess is nice for folks who shop late because they aren't calling out the fact that this is a really great deal. Um, but it, they are on sale this week. Buy one, get one half off. And when you buy $20 worth, you are gonna get a $7 extra care buck. Um, so that's um, like the basics of the deal. But keep in mind, you've got $4 off coupons from the Sunday paper. Um, so one thing to note on a leave, this is just kind of its regular price. So every store is going to be a little bit different. And I've been from one side of town to the other. I've seen it as high as $8.99 for the same size box. It's $8.49 in my favorite CVS. So this was this past Sunday's picture. Um, just so you kind of get that when I'm laying out this deal for you, it could be a little bit more in your store. That's just the nature of every store having different prices from other stores. Um, but here's my plan. They're buy one, get one half off. Um, so you could buy three. Uh, you're not going to, you just really go ahead and go for the four. We need $20 for the deal, um, but grab four of them because that half off, think about it, it's gonna be $4.24 and you have a $4 off coupon. <laughs> so uh, you might as well grab the fourth Aleve. Um, so grab four of them, use four $4 off coupons. If you have four inserts, I get uh, four inserts. So for me, this deal works perfectly. And then check your CVS store coupons. Last week I had a $5 off any $25 in pain care because you're buying four of them, you're going to hit that $25 mark. That's why we're going that high for me. If you don't have that five off 25 in pain care, check this week. I got a $3 off Aleve store coupon like because I didn't have enough Aleve coupons, I guess. Um, so technically, I could actually use both of those. They're both going to come off. But let's just assume you only have one um, with the $5 coupon. Follow me on the math here. I'm buying four Aleve, buy one, get one half off. I'm using four $4 off coupons from Sunday's paper, a $5 store coupon. Total due after all the coupons, $4.47 for four boxes. We haven't even like paid with rewards yet. That's just after the coupons, $4.47 total due. And you're going to get back a $7 extra care box. So you just made money. If you don't have the $5 store coupon, uh, your total due is, it, it, let's say you just had the $3 store coupon, total due is $6.47, uh, you would still get back that $7 reward. Those are still free. No store coupon. I want to lay this out for all of you guys. No store coupon. You just have those really high value $4 off offers. Uh, they're going to come out to be like $0.61 cents a piece. Not bad. Um, these are 50 count boxes. So hopefully that lays out lots of options for you to get an idea of what you would want to grab. Um, Sonia, you're asking, where do I get my inserts? I order them from sundaycouponinserts.com. Make sure it's plural, sundaycouponinserts.com. 
com. Uh, the other one won't take you to the right place. And I have a standing order of four four inserts, basically. So if there are three different inserts in the paper, then I'm going to get four of each one of those. And it comes every Monday in my mailbox, which is great. I'm fine with that. So while I took pictures of this on Sunday, I did not shop uh, because I was waiting for those coupons. Um, so just use it. Um, and Jessica, this deal is just a leave. Um, there aren't any sales on Tylenol this week. And honestly, when we're going Tylenol, we don't really see any big sales on name brand Tylenol. You would want to really just grab house brands. Um, Tylenol is one of those brands that feels pretty highly about themselves. Um, so Stacy, if you only have one insert, that's a great question. We've got a printable $1.50 off for a leave. So maybe you grab three of them. Uh, three of them is going to be like really fast math for you guys. You know what? I'm just going to get a calculator up on the computer. Um, so come on. Oh, he's stuck and he's hiding under a box. Um, there we go. Sorry, guys. I'm usually pretty good with math, but when you add in um, having to do the half price, we get a little crazy. So buy three of them if you only have the printable coupon. Uh, or sorry, you only have one insert and you're going to use printables. Buy three of them. The total will be $21.22. Use one $4 off. Use two $1.50 offs. Uh, and that's still $7 worth of coupons. So your total is going to be, you're going to pay $14 and then you're going to get back a $7 extra care box. So you will have paid seven bucks for all three boxes. Still not a bad price. But hopefully, Stacy, you might have a store coupon too. So you might still have that. Like I have a $3 off store coupon for just a leave this week. Or maybe you have a paying care one. That would still make it a great price. So if you don't have all of those $4 off coupons, use the $1.50 printable. It's still going to be a pretty great price. Um, not free, but hey, you know, it's all about, you know, if we can still get it significantly cheaper. One other picture, just in case you get to your store and the box that I just showed you isn't there. Uh, the arthritis cap, 40 counts, same price. And they also qualify for the coupon and the deal. So just so you kind of get an idea of the two cheapest items that you want to look for on a leave. Um, Lynn, great question. I am paperless. Do I ever scan my card at the, the coupon center? You know, Lynn, I still stop at the coupon center. So even though I'm paperless, uh, it never hurts. And I, I don't scan my card, but I enter my phone number into the coupon center and just see what will print. Sometimes it's just a long list of all the coupons that are currently saved to my card. It's not really that helpful. Um, but sometimes there are coupons that were advertised in the weekly ad as printing for everyone. Those are not gonna be in my app, so I'll still get them. It's just kind of one of those habits to just stick with, even when you're paperless, to just start at the coupon center and then start shopping around the store. Um, uh, and another question, Lynn, uh, do beauty extra care bucks have a shorter expiration date than, reg than regular ones? Technically, no, but when you, if you are using your app and you save your beauty rewards, um, so when I earn an extra care buck and I save it, it automatically changes the expiration date to 30 days from when I save it. But beauty rewards do not save that way. It's very frustrating. So you'll actually see that when you save your beauty rewards, the expiration date gets shorter. You're like, what just happened? Now I have less time to use it. And I really don't know why. I don't, uh, I think it's more kind of a quirk in their system. But they give you longer time to save it. So it's actually will hang in your account for a longer than the normal seven days. But then as soon as you save it, it, it gets a much shorter expiration date. Okay, let's jump back into deals. Um, so we did our free leave. There's a great deal on disposable razors, and we just got coupons to go with this too. We also have printables. So if you only had one insert for Stacy, you could totally do this with printables, and there's a digital. So Schick or Skintimate. So um, let me show you both of them, Schick and Skintimate. They're both part of the same deal. One's basically the female line, uh, and one's the men's. They're $5.99 for the disposable razors this week. And when you buy three of them, you're going to get a $5 reward. We've got $3 off coupons. So again, they were in this Sunday's insert. There's a printable and there's a CVS digital. You want three coupons. So you really could go one insert, one printable, one digital. You'd be set. Uh, you want three. You got to buy three. It's, we always want to aim for a coupon on every single one of them. 
I also have a store coupon here. Um, my store coupon is specific to Skintimate. I have a $2 off Skintimate store coupon uh, that was really from last week. So this is why you want to be paperless because I could save on Saturday uh, last week's coupons and have all of them for this week. So pairing that in for me makes each of these come out to 65 cents a package. So you're going to buy three of them at $5.99. Uh, that's basically 18 bucks but you're gonna use $9 in coupons and get back a $5 reward, um, plus I have that additional $2 off. So 65 cents if you have the store coupon. If you don't have a store coupon, $1.32, not bad. Um, one other deal that is identical, just to you know, not say that the drugstores always win, these are also a $5 gift card deal at Target this week and the same price. So you could buy three at Target, the same $5.99. Instead of a $5 extra care buck, you're going to get a $5 gift card. And you're going to come out to that exact $1.32 as well. So you could shop both deals if you wanted to. But just so you know that you do have an option on that one to get that same price somewhere else. Um, oh, and Kathy, the website again for the inserts, Sunday Coupon Inserts, plural, dot com. That's where I order mine. There are other sites that do that, though. Uh, you know, I am not affiliated with them. I'll have people that will send me emails and say, I can't get the website to work. I'm like, I don't run their website. I have nothing to do with them. Um, but I do. I have ordered my coupons from them for probably four or five years now. Um, and I love it. Uh, so this one, unadvertised. This is not in the weekly ad. I added it to the list um, yesterday. So if you made your list on Sunday or before Sunday, it wasn't there. Uh, renews it this week on sale three for three dollars and when you buy three you're gonna get a dollar fifty in rewards back we have an Ibotta for one dollar off three and we also have a printable for one dollar off four so you can go either way here you could buy three you could use your one dollar Ibotta so you would basically after Ibotta you're out two bucks you're gonna get back a dollar fifty so you just paid fifty cents for all three of them but you might as well buy four and use the printable as well. So grab that $1 off four printable. It's, I just added it so it's on the CVS list. So southernsavers.com slash CVS. So you're gonna buy four. Remember in CVS, the deal is three for $3. Uh, and they have it on here. It's kind of tiny uh, below the price. That fourth one will not be $1. That fourth one will be $1.09. Uh, and that's just how they play in CVS. So you're going to buy four. The first three are a dollar a piece, but that fourth one is 109. So your total due is going to be 409. You're going to use the one dollar printable. So you're going to pay 309, get back a dollar fifty and extra care bucks, get back a dollar from Ibotta. So now you're paying 59 cents for four of them, or basically 15 cents a piece. So you get three for 50 cents, or add in the fourth and get four for 59 cents. So, I mean, it's kind of a better deal. If it's something that you already are using that you would want, you might as well add in the fourth. Um, and we're gonna see more deals on this. We're getting a coupon in Sunday's paper for um, buy four and get two free. So if you aren't planning to add this to your CVS list or you kinda wanna wait, there's a potential that that Ibotta will hang around uh, and we could, we're still gonna see other sales on it. but. That's a really great price. Uh, lately, we've seen it around more like 22 to 25 cents a piece. So 15 cents a piece is pretty fun. Oh, and thank you, Kelly, for going ahead and typing that in for me on um, the URL. This is one where when I don't have my husband, it's really hard for me to do things on the computer and think math and share deals. Um, okay, so yes, and CVS is still um, doing quarterly extra care bucks. They have not changed their quarterly extra care bucks for their beauty rewards. I actually have a deal that I'm gonna share with you in a minute that is all about beauty rewards. So hauls, this is no coupons needed here, uh, but it does kind of, it, it makes a pretty decent price for cough drops. If you needed them, it's probably the best price you're gonna get around town. Hauls, cough drops, um, the whole line is buy one, get one, half off and giving your awards. You always wanna look for the cheapest product. So they have some bags that are like, I don't know, 100 count cough drops, but they're like five and six bucks. Uh -uh. Look for the cheapest ones. So this is just the plain old 30 count bag. 
It's a regular price is $2.79. So you're gonna grab two of them. They're buy one, get one half off. So your total due after the sale, it's like $4.18. Um, yeah, $4.18. Uh, and then you're gonna get back a $2 reward. So now you've paid $2.18 for two bags, or basically a dollar and nine cents a piece. Now, again, I know it's not free, but it is really the best price that we've got on them right now. As we get closer to winter, we will see hauls give us coupons. We will also see hauls on a regular basis, like buy one, get one in the grocery store. So we will have deals coming um, that are normally more like in the 50 to 60 cent range, but for a buck, if you needed them now, you should go ahead and get them. Um, okay, uh, let's talk vitamins, um, Centrum, and I want you to focus on the little guy in the middle here. Um, Centrum Multigummies, when we buy $15 worth, we're gonna get a $5 reward. And we got coupons in the nine, six insert. So you gotta go back, what, like just two weeks. We have $4 off coupons for those Multigummies. Uh, now you have two options, I guess, really. The big bottle next to it would totally meet the reward just buying one of them. But it's, it's actually a better deal to buy the little bottle and use two coupons even though you're technically spending more than you need to for the deal, you're getting to take off $8 with two $4 off coupons. So again, those coupons were in the RMN or the Retail Me Not on 9.6. So let's say you grab two at $9.79 a bottle. Your total due, or you're gonna use a four two $4 off coupons. Check your store coupons. I've got a $3 off store coupon that was also out last week, not this week, so I had to have saved it. But for me, that's using $11 in coupons. So my total due is $8.58, if we wanna be specific. If you don't have that store coupon, your total due is $11.58. And then you're gonna get back a $5 extra care buck. Um, so for me, I'm paying a buck 79 for each bottle. That's a great price for Centrum. If you don't have the store coupon, you're still coming out to $3.29 a bottle, still a great price for Centrum. Um, so use those $4 off coupons, store coupon or no store coupon, it's still kind of the better deal is to get the two smaller bottles and use two $4 off coupons. For, for Stacy and anyone else that's in Stacy's boat with only one insert, then maybe you just go and you grab the big bottle. So the big bottle is the 150 count, this is a 70 count, um, and, it, and it will meet the requirements for the deal. So you're still gonna get nine bucks off basically. One $4 coupon, one $5 reward. So you're getting that one big bottle for $7.49. So you can make this work, either one you wanna grab depending on the number of coupons you have, but it's still a good price to grab Centrum. Um, okay, uh, so hopefully um, that all made sense kind of, I. I don't wanna make this more confusing, giving you lots of different options, but I do wanna to try to make it apply better if you don't have all of the store coupons. Because sometimes I feel like my CVS account is just rolling in store coupons, and then some of you guys are saying, you know what, I have nothing. So that's why I'm trying to give you lots of options on math, but let me know if that just adds, you know, way too many numbers into it. I'm just trying to help you see all sides of the deal. Um, to move on, L'Oreal, Elviv uh, this week is buy $15 and get a $5 reward and it's on sale two for eight. So you gotta buy four to hit the reward. And we just got coupons. So we've got a $3 off two coupon that was in Sunday's paper, I'm pretty sure. Um, yep, Sunday's paper. And we have a printable right now and we have a CVS digital. So you pick, you only you need two coupons. You're gonna buy four bottles. That coupon is for $3 off of two. So you're gonna use two coupons. Um, your total before coupons was 16 bucks. You're gonna use $6 in coupons. So your total due now is $10, and you're gonna get back a $5 reward. So it makes them $1.25 a piece. Not a bad price, I kind of prefer less than a buck. But I do wanna mention, a lot of folks will have a coupon for any hair care. Now my coupon this week is for an $18 purchase. So not really gonna help me if I just did this deal, but if you were gonna go with another deal, so the gift card deal has some hair care items in it, there's a big buy 30 and get 10 deal that has hair care items in it. So if you're gonna do that, throw in a store hair care coupon 
and you would make this an even better price. But no store coupons, it's about 25 a bottle, um, which isn't a bad price if you need shampoo and conditioner. Uh, okay, let's talk the not fun stuff in life. Uh, OB, Stay Free, and Playtex products, uh, and I think Carefree is also included in that, are all buy one, get one half off. When you buy $12 worth, you'll get a $3 reward. Uh, we see this deal a lot. It doesn't really change for those brands. This is kind of the only deal that we see for those brands in CVS. But this week, CVS is making it a little bit easier on us because we don't have coupons for every brand, but CVS has a new digital coupon for everybody. It's not a store coupon, it's manufacturers for $3 off two, and it includes all of those brands. So you can grab what you want here, Playtex, Stay Free, OB, or Carefree. It's a $3 off two on any of those brands, and all of those brands are part of the reward. So the deal is buy one, get one half off as well. So you gotta factor that in on your math. Um, to give you an idea, just using OB, uh, which is $9.29 normally, if you bought two, one's nine bucks, the other one's basically like $4.65. So you're over where you need to be for the $12 purchase. Use your $3 digital, um, it's just a, a manufacturer digital coupon, and then check for store coupons. I've got a $1 off any feminine care, tampons or pads. So that would pair in two. It's not a lot, but it's something. Uh, and after both of those CBS coupons, a manufacturer and a store, I am gonna come out to pay uh, $9.93 for both of them, get back a $3 reward. So now you're paying $6.63. Um, so in the end, $3 and some odd cents for each box. Um, I, it, and it's up to you. It doesn't mean that it's a super great price. We do see lower um, for like the 16 count and the 18 count sizes, but these are 40 count sizes. So, you know, try to compare apples to apples. One other price idea for you, Stay Free is cheaper. Stay Free is $7.79. The downside, um, buying two doesn't hit the threshold that you need for the deal. You could mix and match. You could grab one Stay Free and one Playtex if you wanted to, or one Stay Free and one OB, so that you're paying less over the $12. You know, the goal is to get right to the deal that they're asking you to purchase. Uh, so you could mix and match those if you wanted to. That $3 off two digital coupon, because it applies to all the brands, if you mix and match, you're still gonna be great. You're gonna use your digital coupon and you're still gonna be able to get your reward back. So that's probably your best bet, is to mix and match and grab the things that you need use the digital and the reward. Um, okay, um, let's talk makeup for a second. Now this one, I didn't take a picture of like the actual deal that's running. I took a picture of what I plan to buy. Um, so I have a $10 off $30 store coupon for L'Oreal Cosmetics. And I don't know about you guys, but this is one store coupon that always comes back every week. I have a store coupon for $10 off of a $30 L'Oreal cosmetic purchase every week. Um, so hopefully some of you guys do too, because this week L'Oreal cosmetics and those lips are kind of freaking me out. We're just going to move on to the next picture. L'Oreal cosmetics, uh, buy $15 worth and get a $5 award, but it's a limit that is more than one. I think it's a limit of three. I didn't actually print my shopping list today. I like hand wrote out so that I would make sure I could spell out the deals for you guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is a limit of three. So for me, having a 10 off 30 store coupon, I want to do this deal twice. I want to buy $30 worth of L'Oreal. I'm going to earn that reward twice. It's really going to earn as a one $10 extra care buck. But then I'm going to be able to use my $10 store coupon. And we have manufacturer's coupons. So, I mean, think about that. Even no coupons, you buy $30 of L'Oreal and you save 20 bucks off of it this is a pretty good deal. Uh, pairing in the store coupons, it's even better. So I'm gonna go back to the freaky lips picture. I don't know why, it's just kind of bugging me. Um, buy one lip gloss and it, it, intentionally buying one of each item because the L'Oreal's, the L'Oreal's manufacturer's coupons, um, which were all in this past Sunday's insert, they are all a limit of one. So you can get one lip product and then we have a $2 off one face product. So this is powder, it's $12.79 in my store. And then we have a $2.50 limit one mascara. 
So I am just trying to find three things that get me as close to $30 as I can, also focusing on things that I would use. Um, so grabbing all three of those, for me, using a $10 store coupon, a $2 lip, a $2 face, and a $2.50 mascara, that's $6.50 in manufacturer's coupons, so $16.50 in coupons already. I mean, this is a pretty fun deal for me. I like it when things, it's not gonna come out free, but when they come out crazy cheap. Um, so total due $17.27. And that is like using down to the penny what each of these would cost. So $17.27, getting back a $10 reward, but you also bought over $30 in cosmetics. So you're also gonna earn a $3 beauty reward on top of the deal. Uh, because they don't look at how much you pay, they just look at how much you bought. Uh, so you're there. You bought $30 worth of L'Oreal, you earned a beauty club reward. So you're really getting back $13 in rewards. Just remember, the beauty rewards will not print at the register. You're going to get them, usually 48 hours is the max. Sometimes you'll get them as early as the next day, and they will load into your CVS account. So um, don't look for that extra $3 off at the register if you still get your extra care box to print. You know, you'll panic. You're still going to get it. It's just got a little delay on it. So again, I am paying $17.27. I'm getting back $13 in rewards. So now I've paid $4.27 for $30 worth of L'Oreal Cosmetics. Uh, you can mix and match and grab whatever you want. Your goal is just to get as close as you can to the deal. Um, so Hopefully that gives you some ideas of what to look for anyway. Um, but uh, for me, it might not be free, but it still makes me pretty happy uh, to be able to get three items that cheap. Uh, cosmetics CoverGirl Wise, they are part of the $10 gift card this week. Uh, and we have a lot of CoverGirl coupons. We just got new batches in Sunday's paper. We have some that are still good from a previous Sunday. So I mean, you have CoverGirl coupons coming out of your ears. This one's gonna be actually a little trickier than it would normally be when it's just a buy 15 and get five because they're actually on sale this week. So they're buy one, get one half off. This is going to require purchasing quite a few items, but you could grab $25 worth of CoverGirl after the sale, after that buy one, get one sale, and just load up the coupons uh, and still get back that $10 gift card. No store coupons for me on CoverGirl right now. I don't have any just basic cosmetic. I don't have any CoverGirl specific either, just a lot of manufacturer's coupons. Um, I gave you one idea, it's on the CVS list. It comes out to like 39 cents a piece for getting like two or three mascaras and two or three of these other items. It really will depend on the store coup or the manufacturer's coupons that you can round up, what you have, what was in your inserts. Um, but it's worth looking into if you've got all of those coupons, because again, you're super close to another beauty reward on this one too. You gotta buy $30 worth, but you know, you throw in a shampoo deal or a body wash deal and you're there, you're going to earn another reward back on top of it. So, uh, you know, just to mention this one, if you wanted it, uh, it, it's worth grabbing. Oh, and Barbara's saying she didn't get the L'Oreal in her inserts. I don't blame you, Barbara, for being upset. Um, those were, um, very good coupons. So kind of frustrating to not be able to get, um, so for, if you didn't get them, I guess that you're missing out on $6 and 50 cents, you're still going to get 20 or basically $20 off. If you had that store coupon, um, maybe you want to grab it. Maybe you just want to hold off. There is a $2 L'Oreal printable on L'Oreal's website, but it's still a limit of one. So it doesn't get you all the way that you want, um, in terms of the deal. Okay. One more in terms of rewards. This one's not free, but I wanted to mention it. If you have a store coupon off of Colgate. So I have a $4 off $16 purchase of Colgate this week. Um, so if you happen to have that or you have something similar in oral care, here's an idea. Uh, this deal is Colgate Optic White. You'll also find the Colgate Total SF are part of the deal. They're $3.49. When you buy two of them, you get back a $4 reward. We've got a $1 off two coupon. We had a sweet four off two digital last week. It's gone now. Uh, that was only available for that one week. So you're going to use a dollar off two coupon on them. In the end, they're going to come out to 99 cents a box just if you just went with that one coupon. But let's go in with the store coupon. My store coupon is four off 16. 
So I actually need to pair this with another deal to hit 16. So all oral care deals in CVS are limits of two. So you could actually grab four boxes of toothpaste at $3.49 a piece. You're almost to where you need to be for a $16 store coupon, but not quite. So grab four boxes of toothpaste. You're gonna use those two $1 off two coupons. And then look for these. So there is a deal this week on any Colgate multi-pack. Uh, you buy a multi-pack of toothbrushes or a multi-pack of toothpaste and you get a $2 extra care back. My store did not have it tagged, but all of these apply. So these three count extra clean toothbrushes in my store are $3.99 or you could go for the four count if you wanted to at $4.69. Um, let's just go for the cheapest. So four boxes of toothpaste, one package of toothbrushes. Uh, I'm going to use my $4 store coupon and I'm going to use two $1 off two coupons on all the toothpaste. So $6 in coupons. Uh, this guy right here, just so you know, there is a coupon for toothbrushes, but it's excluded. Um, this is the extra clean and it, every Colgate coupon that you ever get will always exclude this line of toothbrushes. So you're just using those $6 in coupons, total due $11.95, and then you're gonna get back a $2 reward from the toothbrushes, and you're gonna get back one $8 reward for doubling this deal. So that's $10 in rewards. So now you've paid $1.95 for four boxes of toothpaste and this one package of toothbrushes. Um, which in reality is less than what you would have just paid for the toothbrushes and their $2 reward. So not a bad deal to throw all five of them together if you were at CVS and you had that store coupon. If you don't have the store coupon, I wouldn't get it. Um, for me, I, um, you know, just to go full screen here, toothpaste should be free. So if I don't have a store coupon that's going to make it come out to that price that, you know, my magical free price, I will usually never get it. Um, sometimes if it was maybe 10 cents, but that's pushing it. That's like paying full price for toothpaste. I can't do that. Um, so trying to kind of give you the idea of how to work a deal if you had a store coupon, but I wouldn't really bother if you didn't. Um, and yes, Laura, you're right. So the gift card deal is a limit of one um, per household or per card per week. So on the gift card deal, you've got to decide what deal you want to get. I've given you a few options. Um, one that is kind of be possibly, I didn't even take a picture of it, but one option on the gift card deal would be Aquaphor. Uh, it's like their spray lotion. And so look at the CVS list because it just added some new coupons to that one today uh, that makes Aquaphor um, lotion spray like super cheap. It's normally $13 a bottle and it's gonna come out to less than $3 a bottle after the gift card. Um, okay, let's talk deals that don't have rewards with them. Cereal everywhere is always a buck ninety-nine lately in the drugstores. So this week it's General Mills. We've got dollar off two coupons, so that makes them a dollar forty-nine. We also have Saving Star offers. So if you've not redeemed your Saving Star offer, you can do that as well. So you still take a picture of your receipt and submit it to Saving Star after you get home. There's another dollar off two offer there too. So you paid $1.49 for each box in the store, but you're gonna get another dollar back. That would make them 99 cents a box. Um, that is my happy happy place on um, cereal. Uh, oh, and Kelly says they don't carry the spray for Aquaphor at her CVS. I know for mine, they have it, it's like top shelf. It is on, like right at eye level on the Aquaphor spray, but you could still aim, you're just aiming for $25 worth of Aquaphor. And then we have um, a number of Ibotta offers that you can pair in and then check your CVS coupons because I got two CVS coupons that would pair in this week, one specifically for Aquaphor products and one for just lotion. Um, so if you have a lotion store coupon, that could be the deal that you wanna look at for gift cards. That deal also includes Userin. So we've got a lot of printables for Userin uh, as well, not Ibotta's on that one, but actual coupons that work at the register. Sometimes those are a little nicer. Um, oh, and another one Kelly is mentioning, she has a store coupon. I was hoping for that one this week, Kelly. She's got a store coupon for $2 off of an $8 purchase of breakfast. So if you ever have that store coupon, you should immediately start looking for your $1.99 cereals. Pop-Tarts are also on sale this week and that would count in. Um, so you can go crazy and bring a few printable coupons. Uh, all it has to be is $8 before manufacturer's coupon. So Kelly, I hope you are ready to stock up on cereal. Uh, Blue Diamond Almonds, just to mention this one, they're on sale, um, both the small and the big. 
And there is a CVS manufacturer's $2 off any two Blue Diamond products. Uh, everyone has this. It's just a manufacturer's coupons. It works on the little and it works on the big. So whichever ones you want, it makes for a pretty sweet price. So it's $1.50 a can after the digital coupon or it's $4.99 for the one pound bags. Um, yours, you can pick which one you want. Just remember in CVS, this one being two, four, five, you actually have to buy two of them because if you tried to mix this up and get one can and one bag, the can is not going to be $2.50. It's going to be $3.69 and you don't want to do that. Uh, so go and grab two cans or one bag. So Jean says, you just redeemed your first, I bought a reward, where do I find it? So I, I think you mean, Jean, like you have money in your Ibotta account or you took a picture and you've submitted it through Ibotta. So you will see if you click on account uh, down in the bottom corner of your Ibotta app, it will show you how much money you have saved up currently in the app. When you have $20 saved up, you can cash it out. Um, they do PayPal deposits now. You can do gift cards. You've got a lot of options of how you can cash it out in a ton of different gift cards. Uh, but you'll have to earn $20 before you get to redeem it. And it does go pretty fast when we're talking about so many offers that have higher limits. Like you can buy three of this and four of this. Uh, then you're going to earn that 20 bucks a lot faster than you think you will. So that's where you'll find it if that's what you mean uh, in terms of like where'd my money go? I redeemed this. Now where's my money? That's where it is. Okay, let's switch boats uh, and, um, oh, I got it. So you just redeemed for your first reward. Um, so if you cashed out for a gift card at, on Ibotta, you will get, you'll see a kind of a notification that your gift card has been redeemed uh, and they will send you an email as well. I tend to always go PayPal. I tend to just go cash in Ibotta, just give me the real cash back. Um, but you'll get an email that you have been cashed out and then you can pull up the gift card. That way you'll see it and then you could use it online. You could enter it into your account. So like if you cashed out for an Amazon gift card, you'll get the email and then you can enter that code into your Amazon account. Um, so that's how you wanna look for it. Okay, let's switch to Walgreens deals. Um, Walgreens, I told you we've got a ton of free toothpaste and this one, we didn't expect to be free. So this is kind of fun. Everyone has a Walgreens digital coupon this week for $7 off of three Crest Oral-B uh, products. So get excited because a whole bunch of toothpaste, toothbrushes, and mouthwash are all part of a deal this week that they're four bucks a piece. When you buy three of them, you get back a $5 reward. So just do the math there, just quick. Doesn't matter what you grab. You grab three at four bucks a piece, that's 12 bucks. You get a $7 Walgreens digital coupon, 12 minus seven equals five, and you're gonna get back a $5 reward. So these are just free using that digital coupon. So I'm gonna show you a few options of what you can grab. You've got Crest 3D White, Crest Pro Health Advanced. So those are the two toothpastes and all the different flavors that are part of them, all part of the reward. Crest Mouthwash is also part of it. This is the 500 milliliter intense specifically. Notice these other guys, they're part of that month long deal. And you could grab them if you wanted, but this is gonna be free and those are gonna be kind of iffy. So stick with that little guy. Um, and then look for the toothbrushes as well. So we've got Oral-B toothbrushes. Mix and match if you want, whatever you wanna get here, because that seven off three is good for all of those products. It's good on toothpaste, toothbrushes, and mouthwash. So however you wanna do the deal, you grab three products at $4 a piece, pay, you're gonna owe 12, you're gonna use a $7 digital, now you're gonna owe five, and get back a $5 register reward. So pretty sweet and fun. No one was planning on it, but if Walgreens wants to give us digital coupons that make things free, we're not going to complain. We'll take their digital coupons. So more freebies. We've got Colgate Total SF or, um, oh, I don't, didn't realize I had the same picture. So it's two different types, but Colgate Total SF, Colgate Optic White is also part of this deal. Um, so they are $2.99 a piece this week. When you buy two of them, you get back a $5 register award. You're gonna note something, all the deals are register award deals this week. Uh, so we've got $1 off two coupons. There's also a digital for that as well. So you can do this totally with Walgreens Digitals if you want. So $1 off two coupon, 
So your total due after the coupon is going to be uh, basically like, uh, what is that, $4.98 for both of them and you're gonna get back a $5 reward. So these are free. Just grab two toothpastes, use a $1 off two coupon, pay $4.98, get back a $5 reward. Now here's the real question folks ask. Could I get one reward, earn the $5 register reward, and use it to buy the other deal? This is a tricky one. So register rewards are not always happy when you use them on other register reward deals. Typically, you're fine because these are from a different brand. One is a Procter & Gamble product, one is an SC Johnson product. Um, so typically, if you tried to pay with that register reward on the other deal, uh, you're gonna need another product. I'll explain that in a second. Um, but typically it will not mess up the register award printing on the next deal. The only scary part is that they're two $5 rewards. And so sometimes the computer will think that it is the reward you're about to earn. But the fact that they're different brands should make this a safe play if you wanted to. Now here's the one quirk. You have a coupon that you're using for every product. And register awards, they're really manufacturer's coupons. They're blank manufacturer's coupons. So you're getting this $5 reward back and it's gonna say, thank you for buying Crest and Oral-B. I can turn around and use that on anything in the store, but the computer views that as a manufacturer's coupon. So if I bought this deal first and my total due was five bucks and I get back my $5 reward, or I guess actually, uh, let's do it this way. Let's say you bought this deal first you paid $4.98, you got back your $5 reward, and so you said, okay, well now I wanna buy the Crest deal, my total due is five bucks, and you go to hand them the register reward, it's not gonna take it because you technically already used a manufacturer's coupon on the three products that you're purchasing. You used a digital $7 off three manufacturer's coupon. Um, so just to remind you, if you wanted to buy the Colgate, get the register reward and use it to buy the Crest, you need to find something tiny. There's so much on clearance right now. Uh, in my store, you could buy clearance swimming goggles for 39 cents, buy them. That is a fourth item. And now you could pay with that $5 Colgate register award on the Crest deal and the computer would be happy. It would see that you used a coupon on all the Crest products, but you had a product for that register award to attach to. It doesn't care that it's not a $5 product. It just cares that you have a product. So your total due would be $5.39 if that's the clearance item that you went for, but you would pay with a $5 register award, you would owe 39 cents, and you would get back another $5 register award. So that's the beauty of the reward system, but there are some quirks there, and hopefully in explaining that, it doesn't make it seem too stressful. You know, option B, you just buy them all and you have a bunch of register rewards, whatever you wanna do. But I do want you to see how you could kind of work them together. There's actually another deal this week that is also a $5 register reward. It was just the magical number this week. Um, they're all register rewards, but because they're different brands, you're good to use those register rewards to pay for different deals. Just never repeat the same deal paying with a register reward and hoping to earn the same register reward. That won't work. Okay. Long bit there, um, but hopefully that helps. And Lynn, I agree. Lynn says, friends don't let friends pay for toothpaste. Exactly, and Walgreens, I mean, they're just pouring the toothpaste on us lately. I think we had, what, four free tubes last week, five free tubes this week. It's a crazy amount of toothpaste. Okay, let's talk another $5 register award deal. Uh, if the guys in your house love Axe products, Axe deodorant, and body wash this week are part of a buy $20 worth of Axe products and get a $5 register award. And both products, deodorant and body wash, are on sale for $3.99. That right there is actually a pretty good price for Axe um, based on the normal price in Walgreens. We don't have actual paper coupons here, but we have a lot of Ibotta offers. So there's $1.50 Ibotta offers on body spray and deodorant. There's $1.50 Ibotta offers on body wash. Uh, you've got to buy 20 bucks worth. So it's actually going to take you six products. So this is what I would recommend. Those Ibotta offers are all a limit of three. So it's a three on the deodorant. It's a three on the body wash. Perfect. I have to buy six products. Buy three body washes, three deodorants, 
you're gonna hit the $20 that's needed and then use those three um, body wash, $1.50 Ibotta's, three $1.50 body wash and deodorant Ibotta. So total, that's nine bucks back from Ibotta just on the deal. You're getting back a $5 reward. So after all of that, these are gonna come out to a buck 65 a piece, which isn't bad for Axe. You can get Axe uh, at Target this week also. So the same price, really. They're not on sale in Target. They're just their normal prices. Um, but when you buy, I think it's three in Target, you get a $5 Target gift card. So you could use your Ibotta's there. You could use your Ibotta's here. Uh, pretty much comes out to the same price um, after the rewards and the Ibotta offer. So just to give you a second option if you wanted to, um, it kind of works for either store. Let's talk L'Oreal. Uh, this is a $10 register award deal. I don't know why. It's like Walgreens woke up and decided they didn't want balance rewards this week. Everything was going to be a register award. Buy $30 worth of L'Oreal face care and get a $10 register award. Uh, I know some of you may not have these, but we uh, did get L'Oreal coupons in really last week's paper. And then two weeks ago, we have more in the 830 insert. So if you didn't get this past Sundays, maybe you should check back to your 8.30 inserts. We specifically have a $4 off coupon for Age Perfect Skincare, which is this line right there. Uh, so if you wanted just a, a deal idea, because this really includes everything L'Oreal Skincare, buy 30 and get 10, but just one deal idea, buy the Age Perfect and then look for some things cheaper. So you want you need 30 bucks. So you want to grab one of these pure clay masks or something that's in that price range. $12.99. Uh, I've got a $2 off any L'Oreal face. That was in the 913 this past Sunday. We've got that $4 off age perfect. This is six dollars in coupons. Uh, for me, that would make it $26.98 with those prices. You're still gonna get back a $10 reward. So you're gonna pay $16.98 for both of them. That's less than the price of one of them normally. Um, so if this is something that you use, it's not free uh, or even cheap in that matter, but in terms of if it's something that you'll use, it is a good price to grab. I did wanna mention, this is not necessarily a deal at either drugstore, but there is a new Olay rebate that is out. So if you're looking for skincare products and L'Oreal or Olay, and you're kind of going back and forth between the main, they're like, they are the two major brands, for just store moisturizers and whatnot. Uh, there is a rebate that is out for Olay. Uh, it is a $30 mail-in rebate with any $100 purchase of Olay, which is kind of huge, but it does not have to be in the same purchase. So CVS does have an extra care buck on Olay this week. Um, you can kind of grab a couple deals if you wanted to. The rebate is good through the end of September. So you've got like two weeks to use it. Um, but that's a pretty sweet rebate. So if you were looking for moisturizer, I know I'm telling you about a L'Oreal deal, but I just want to mention that rebate. There is a gift card deal in Target, just to throw that one out too. I'm kind of, Target's becoming like the third drugstore in my book because they are giving so many gift card deals lately in personal care and cosmetics and, and all of the items we would normally grab in the drugstores. It's kind of like they're trying to mimic the drugstores. So we are seeing a lot of the exact same deals in both areas. And that's also just, a, I'm just giving you some ideas of what you could grab for that L'Oreal deal. Let's talk deals that don't have rewards. Palmolive, my store literally had these two bottles left. Hopefully you would find more in your store. We've got a 50 cent digital this week. Everyone has it in their Walgreens account. So it makes these 20 ounce bottles of Palmolive $1.49. It's kind of the go price for dish detergent. So grab that one while you're in there. Tide, we have a bunch of $2 coupons. There's digitals, there's printables, there's some inserts. If you're some of the lucky folks that get them in your inserts, use the $2 off coupon. It's going to make Tide just $2.99 for the packets or the liquid. Purex, no coupons here. This is just a sale this week. The packets and the liquid for Purex are on sale three for six. So grab three of them. You're going to pay two bucks a piece. No coupons needed. It's just pretty cheap detergent. Uh, and then cereal, I told you, uh, cereal just lives at $1.99. So this is your choices on General Mills side. Again, it's General Mills at CVS, it's General Mills at Walgreens. Uh, so use your coupons, $1.49 on General Mills cereal. 
Uh, Walgreens is pretty good at giving us a lot of just grocery deals, and you may not really think about that when you're in the store. And this is the other one. This is probably one of the cheapest prices on soda this week. But Mountain Dew, Pepsi, there's actually a lot of participating brands are all three for $9.99. Um, this one is specific. Uh, according to the ad, it is a limit of one deal, so three 12 packs per person. Um, now, keep in mind, Walgreens doesn't actually have a way that they can limit a sale, but I would not recommend going in and trying to buy six of them um, because they did write that out in their ad. I could very much see the store trying to say like, no, you're done. So just grab three of them. If you want to go back in a few more days and grab three more, you're probably fine. But I would just stick with three at a time if you were aiming for that deal. Werther's candies. Uh, I took a picture of the sugar-free, but this includes all the ones that aren't sugar-free as well. They're on sale two for four. We've got a dollar off two coupon for Werther's. Um, it was in this past Sunday's paper. And we've got 75 cent I bought offers. So you pair in, I mean, that's basically $1.25 off of each bag, and you're going to pay $0.75 cents for Werther's. There's also a deal for Werther's in a few other stores. So you might want to use the item search on this one and kind of decide where you want to head. Um, but pairing the coupon and the Ibotta, it's going to make a deal pretty much everywhere because it's just a, it's an inexpensive item. Um, there's a one other deal um, before I get to clearance items that I did not take a picture of. So... I won't even show you a picture to not um, just not distract you from it. But equal, if you use equal, um, the sweetener packets, they are buy one get one through really the end of the month. So they're three dollars and ninety eight cents buy one get one. So it's a buck ninety nine a box. We've got new one dollar and fifty cent coupons that were in Sunday's paper. A lot of our deals are using this pass. Or actually, I'm sorry, this coupon was two Sundays ago. Dollar fifty coupons for equal two Sundays ago. Nine sixes retail not. And we've got 50 cent Ibotta's. So they're on sale basically for a buck 99 a box. So it makes those free. Uh, you're gonna pay 398 for both of them. You're gonna use $3 in coupons. You'll pay 98 cents at the register and then submit your receipt to get another $1 back or two 50 cent Ibotta offers. So definitely add equal to your list. It is on the Walgreens list on Southern Savers. I just didn't take a picture of it. Um, and unlike last week, I didn't grab a screenshot of an image either. Um, so let's talk clearance. This is uh, all Burt's Bees has been on clearance in a number of stores in our area. And some of them, I don't know if you can see, not all, because these guys down here have not changed. But some at the top, you'll notice, are now at the 70% off mark. So if there's still some Burt's Bees hanging around, this could be the time to grab it. And it's not just cosmetics. It's also all the facial care products. Most of the facial care was still 50% in my store. Um, but once they hit that 70% mark, that these could be really fun items. Oh, I'm sitting here like showing you pictures as you can't see, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, let me go back. Um, so these up top, 70% um, off on just that particular kind. Some of the other ones were 70% off too. The ones on the bottom still hitting the 50% mark. And then facial care, still at the 50% mark. Just keep an eye on it. Because uh, obviously no one's going in tearing after it, even at the 50% off mark. So wait. Um, but these would be great stocking stuffers. Um, I've put Burt's Bees in my mom's stocking for years. So kind of fun to grab it at a super great price. Um, and I am, I'm, I will probably wait till it goes a little bit lower on the facial care. Um, but it's getting there. And probably I would assume by next week. We're also seeing um, clearance on school supplies. So in this store that I was in, they'd already hit 70% off. Um, this particular Walgreens is right next to the University of South Carolina's campus. So they did not have much left in school supplies, but hopefully in your store, there's gonna be a bigger selection to go with. Um, not everything had hit 70%, but everything was at least 50. So as you look around, just kind of keep eyes on the, on the tags to make sure you're getting the lowest price or the best options. And then um, all summer is still 90% off. So what's left, if you haven't hit the summer clearance, you want to hit it. It's, I mean, everything is 90% off. Um, I mean, like a snorkel mask for $1.29. Uh, you know, you can't even get it at Goodwill that cheap if you were going for it. Um, so just hit the clearance. I love Walgreens clearance anytime they start marking things down. I did notice, I thought this was a little strange, our CVS had marked all summer down to, I guess, 75% off was where it was last week. 
this week, all the tags are gone and I actually scanned a few items and they're back to their full price. So don't purchase any more CVS summer items. Like that sale has, has passed and gone, um, but definitely hit the clearance deals at Walgreens while you can. Um, so hopefully you can grab all of these. Oh, and Shannon, thank you. Uh, I didn't even think about that with Axe. Um, that makes the deal even better. So Shannon mentioned Axe is Unilever, you're right. And with Fetch Rewards, if you're using the Fetch Rewards app, um, there is a Unilever reward inside Fetch Rewards for everyone uh, that when you scan receipts, it tracks you. You don't even have to purchase it all in the same time. Um, but when you buy $30 worth of Unilever, I'm trying to pull it up, you will get 10,000 points back. So you buy $30 worth of Unilever, you're gonna get another 10 bucks back. So your Axe deal in Walgreens, you're a chunk of the way there. Um, there's a lot that is Unilever that you may not realize too. So Dove, Axe, um, I'm trying to think of all of our brands, Simple, Vaseline, Tresemme, uh, Shea Moisture. I think that's a lot of our, our face and face and hair, but Unilever makes food, so Briar's ice cream, uh, all of those. So just keep scanning receipts and you'll earn that Unilever pretty quickly. If you did an ax deal, you already got yourself so much of the way there, you're not gonna need much more to hit that $10 reward. So thank you, Shannon, for, you know, that's just icing on the cake. Um, always submit, it never hurts, always submit every receipt to fetch because you will earn those extra bonuses that you weren't expecting to. So, uh, and since I have that up, I was gonna check. Um, make sure if you haven't as well, I mentioned this in a post last week, but since we're talking fetch, make sure to grab your free Klondike donuts. Um, this offer ends this weekend on 920, so it ends on Sunday. Uh, but everybody can, get, can grab two Klondike donuts packages um, and get them back. You get 100% back in points through fetch. So pretty fun. Uh, if you're not using the Fetch Rewards app, you can download it. And if you want, uh, I wouldn't mind, you can use my referral code. It is N0REC uh, and you will get uh, bonus points, 2000 bonus points as well when you submit your first receipt. So, uh, and those are all capital letters with a zero in the middle, N0REC. Uh, and that will get you that bonus. It's another $2. So a thousand points equals a dollar in fetch. So this Unilever deal, you're getting 10,000 points. That's really $10. And the sweet part with fetch rewards, you only need 3000 points to cash out. So you're, you're most of the way there just with the bonus when you first get started, but you can cash out so much earlier than you can um, in other apps, which is great. Um, oh, and Pat is mentioning, thanks for that, Pat. Let me check. Um, that's right, I did forget. So the Fetch Unilever deal, it has a bunch of stores um, and you actually have to click and look at the really long list of stores. Uh, and for her, she's saying it's grocery stores only and I bet it is. So kind of nixes it for Walgreens. Um, let me scroll down, but like seriously, it's this crazy long list of every store in the US. So I'm somewhere in the bees. Um, I don't even know if I can jump to the bottom, but I doubt that Walgreens is going to be considered a grocery store. Let's get to the bottom. TBW, I have to sit here and do my alphabet. Um, oh, it does. Walgreens is there, so you're good. Walgreens is in the list, Pat. Um, so they are saying grocery only, but um, so enjoy it. Uh, Walgreens has made the list. Uh, might as well, won't hurt to submit it anyway. Um, and you hopefully will get that extra 10,000 points. Okay, I think that's all the deals, guys. That was a long list. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to get to the store. All the deals are good through Saturday night. Everything I mentioned, southernsavers.com slash CVS or southernsavers.com slash Walgreens. So thanks for watching. If you've got questions on any of these deals, feel free to send me a Facebook message or an email, jenny at southernsavers.com, and I'll be glad to try to walk you through or give you some ideas of things to grab if something didn't work right. I'm fine to listen to that too. Uh, I can just be the person you vent to, that's okay. Uh, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll pop back in with other deals as we find them. Thanks again for watching.